Hey YouTube family, I'm back on here with a, another mukbang for y'all. I was getting tired eating dinner by myself, so uh, I figured I'd come on here and I've got my, my little ottoman here to read up on. One of my viewers was saying that on uh, that they couldn't. They could. <laughs> I'm preoccupied because somebody's on. Uh, just sent me a message and I seen it pop up. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, they couldn't see my food on. Um, but on. Um, what I've cooked is on. Um, I call it like a chipotle bowl, but on. Um, I use something different. I usually use on um, ground turkey on. Um, made like taco meat. But they got something at on. Um, at Walmart called Great Value. Let me get it right. Great value seasoned sirloin Philly steak. And it's just a, like a little sirloin steak and you cook it five minutes on each side and then you can take your spatula and just cut it right up. And I cooked the pot of red beans in the crock pot. I probably shouldn't have put a whole cup on here because this looks like a lot of food. My eyes might be bigger than my belly. And then I um. I microwaved a cup of um, frozen corn and I cut up half of a green bell pepper and half of a red bell pepper and a whole onion and sauteed it in the frying pan with a little bit of canola oil. And this is what I came up with, y'all. And I'm going to go ahead and say my grace before I forget it. Gracious Lord, make us thankful for what we're about to receive at this time and all others and make it nourishing for the strengthening of our bodies. For Christ's sake, amen. And I'm going to read our little scripture for the day. And this is Psalms 103, chapter, I mean, verse 2 through verse 5. I gratefully praise you, Lord, and do not forget all your benefits. You redeem my life from the pit and corruption. You beautify, dignify, and crown me with loving kindness and tender mercy. You satisfy my mouth with good things, so my youth is renewed like the eagles. Ain't that pretty, y'all? So, uh, I'm tired. I, I started not to come on here and do this because uh, I know I look like something on uh, the cat drug up on. Uh, I have been running for the last few days on uh, yesterday. Y'all, God has just been blessing me on. Uh, Yesterday, I took my car to a, um, this guy I know that, um, runs a body shop. He had told me, um, back in the winter, you know, because I was sick, that, um, if I would bring it over there, he would have his workers to, um, detail my car and wax it. And I took it over there yesterday, and, um, he told me, you know, I could sit in the office, um, up under the air conditioning and read or watch TV over what I wanted to do. But y'all know me on uh, I'm a I'm a sociable person on uh, and honey everybody it just seemed like on uh, <laughs> I guess yesterday was good days for a good day for me to go because on um, I met two different women in there and we just conversed, you know, and just enjoyed our time and they just made it so easier because on um, I was so bored before that first lady came up with on. Um, she even stayed there way after he was done with her car because, you know, we was enjoying our conversation so much. And um, we just talked and, and she made some beaded jewelry. And y'all, when I tell you that woman, she was showing me different earrings that she had made. God, they were so pretty. Kind of wish I'd put some sauce on this. Well, we'll see. I ain't even tasted it yet and I'm already grumbling. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> But, um, then after she left, um, not too long after she left, another girl c come up, and you know, <laughs> me and her got into a good conversation, and, you know, by the time he got through with her car, um, the men was through um, with my car, and y'all, it looks so good, it looks so good. Let's see what this tastes like. I've this is what my sister uses to make, um, her Philly cheese steaks with. I always used the um the steakums, but she was telling me about this and I wanted to try it. 
Mm. That is good, y'all. But you can't go wrong on, in my opinion, on, I'm a person on, I love dried beans. And I love corn, so um, you just can't go, go wrong with um, red beans and corn and these sauteed vegetables. I could have probably eat it without the meat, but um, I just, I wanted to eat it like this. Mmm, oh, that's good. She said when she makes it, she um, she eats her with tortilla chips, but um, well now somebody's calling, Lord, I'm mercy. I'm sorry, y'all. This is just the day everybody's wanting to call a little taste. Any other time, nobody wouldn't be calling. I shouldn't say that, though, because um, <laughs> that was my son's girlfriend, and she calls me <laughs> about every other night. We can just get into the best conversations. We'll get on the phone, and we'll talk for hours. But um, this is good, y'all. But, yeah, um, one of my subscribers was telling me that, um, I, ha I need to have my my food up where y'all can see it. Because <laughs> she said I was on my sweep and I was eating that taco salmon. She said, she, I kept on saying, mm, this is good. And she was wanting to see it, but um, she couldn't see it. So... I hope y'all can see this better. I had to rig it up. <laughs> I usually eat over there on that smaller ottoman because uh, I didn't pay for twenty nine dollars for that, but um, I paid about a hundred dollars for this ottoman, and I don't want to mess it up. But I guess with my third movie, it'll be all right. But this is real good. But y'all. I have been wide open today. My chair class is on on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I got up and on went to my chair class. And then I don't I think I mentioned it to y'all. I've started going to a Bible study class on Wednesdays at the on at the university here in the town where I live. So as soon as I left my class, I rushed home. And I was hungry because um, I had to eat my cereal probably about, about 8 o'clock, 8 or 9 o'clock. And um, chair class don't start till 11, then it's 12 when we get done. So when I took my shower, um, I rolled me up. Some, I had some, that sliced chicken breast out of the deli. And I rolled that up and put a piece of cheese in between it and eat that and um, went on to the Bible study. And I got blessed there too, cause um, they started their new book today. And the lady that teaches the class, she gave me this. And they're normally fifteen dollars, and I thought that was so nice of her. Um, it's got C C CDs, DVDs with it that you can watch and on, you know, listen to preaching on them. Then it's got Bible verses that you can take out. They're you know they're perforated or whatever how you say it, and put the little cards in your pocketbook. And the name of it is Faith That Can Move Mountains. So we started in that today and so far it's really good. I just I just love how that lady on brings points out when she's teaching the class on. I really enjoy it.
Mm. This is good, y'all. <laughs> I was worried about not being able to eat it on. <laughs> I think I won't have no problem getting it all late. Because <laughs> it sure is good. And then after I left the, um, the Bible study class, <laughs> y'all, I have been buying on. Um, I've been buying my Christmas on um, decorations. Cause I already got my tree on um, out there in the utility building, and um, all I need is you know my decorations, ornaments, and what I'm gonna set around in the house here. So I've been doing that the last two days. So after I left the Bible study, I went to um, Dollar General. Y'all, and I got the cutest little, um, actually it's about that high, a little wooden thing. It's a snowman. And he's got a little, a little tin piece on him somewhere. And it says, um, we wish you a Merry Christmas. But I got that, um, I think I'm going to put it out there on my little table. But I've got all my ornaments from the tree. But I, I want to get me on. I'm looking for a pack of ivory ornaments. And I hadn't seen, well, I hadn't seen any ivory ornaments, ornaments so far, but I'm gonna go to Walmart no more because um, I ordered some things and um, they should, well, I know one of them's already there. It was there today, but I didn't see no point in going there to pick it up. And on the other thing I ordered won't be there till tomorrow. So, I've already ordered my own wreath, Christmas wreath for the front door. And y'all, I have big, big news. But I can't share it with y'all until... Otherwise, this weekend or next weekend. But it's big news. And, um, we'll talk about that soon. My God, I don't like to say it like that, but my goodness, this is good, y'all. Mm. I guess because I, I just... All of this is stuff that I love. I love dried beans. Now that was what I was brought up on. Um, pinto beans, lima beans, kidney beans, black eyed peas. You know, because really back then, I mean, the beans is a little more pricier now, but back then, I imagine you could probably buy a bag of lima beans but look with nothing cause on um, I know when my boys was coming up on I back then a pound bag of lima beans probably weren't but about on um, y'all won't even believe it was a dollar maybe 50 cents say back then I would be willing to say I was born in 62 in the 60s and 70s, I'm pretty sure a bag of lima beans or pinto beans was probably a nickel or a dime. And you figure on, there were seven children in my family. So, you know, that was just something that people could cook when they had big families and, you know, dried beans on. <laughs> They'll fill you up. And to keep you full for a while, for a while, cause um, you know, I told y'all when um, and I I remember when it was I quit eating meat, and um, the last of July, I want to say it was on July the eighteenth of two thousand and seventeen. I quit eating meat, and um. I ate a lot of dried beans because um, 
if you're being vegetarian or vegan, dry beans is something that'll help you stay full. And I just love them, so I eat lots of dried beans. But I must say, <laughs> they're a whole lot tastier with some meat. But I went from July the 18th of 2017 until May the 1st of 2018. And the only reason I started back eating meat then, when I got sick on and started, you know, falling and couldn't walk on, You know, when I was at the hospital, they was trying to figure out what was wrong with me. And, you know, since none of the tests weren't showing anything physically wrong, I guess they was kind of grasping at straws, but um, they had said it might could have something to do with um, me making that drastic change in my diet. And not, you know, I weren't taking no vitamins, but that weren't what it was cause when I started I started back eating meat that day and on. Like the doctor said, it was just stress and on depression. But <laughs> when you start back eating meat after all that time, y'all, Lord, it's so good. Sometime now, um, I go a day without eating meat. <laughs> but that's usually all it is, is a day. But I will say this, before you know all this started going on, um, I felt so good when I stopped eating meat on. Um. And I know this is going to sound strange, but it's something something that I noticed on. Um, when I stopped eating meat, y'all know I dyed my hair, when I stopped eating meat, I could go for so much longer without having to get my hair color. And I even made a comment about that at the um, at the beauty shop that I was going to at that time. <laughs> and that girl that owned the beauty shop says, um, no, no, it's not that. But um, I really do feel like that had something to do with it. Because normally, my hair needs color never seats weights. God, really, <laughs> the grays is showing like in four to five. But then, I could go two months or longer. But you know, <laughs> you say something like that in a beauty shop on, <laughs> you're messing with, with their money. You don't want you to say stuff like that. But y'all know really probably years ago, people weren't eating a lot of meat like um, like we do now. You know, back in the day, people were probably on, um, well, if you want to talk about back in the, maybe like in the 1800s, I bet they probably on, um, I don't know, they was they might have been killing deers and buffalo and stuff and eating it, I don't know. But I know when I was coming up, meat was more of like a Sunday thing. There's a lot of times on Through the week, we just have like dried beans and rice and biscuits. And now on Sundays, we'd always have that on. We'd always have fried chicken and like potato salad or otherwise mashed potatoes and gravy 
But one thing my mama always did on Saturday night, she always cooked the chocolate. Well, Saturday evening, she always cooked the chocolate layer cake. And I'm going I'm to tell y'all a funny story about that too. <laughs> y'all, I've always been a mess. I was a mess when I was a young <laughs> One Saturday evening, and y'all, I could, but now I can still remember this. I just, because Mama tore my tail up on um, which that ain't why I still remember. I just got a good memory. <laughs> Except when it comes to what happened five minutes ago, but on. When I was a little girl, and I know I couldn't have been no more than three. Because where we stayed at then, I know it couldn't have been no more than three. But Mama had a friend, and um, she had two. Well, they weren't teenagers, but they were older than me. And when they would come there with her, they would always peek at me. And I remember we was outside that day, and they was peeking at me, and um, I went in the house. And as soon as I walked in the house, where we stayed at, when you walked in, it was like, you know, you could see the, the kitchen and the eating table. <laughs> and there sat Mama's chocolate cake she had just made cooling off. And I climb up there in the chair and I say to myself, well, I'm just going to pinch, pinch off some of this icing. You know how when you ice a hot cake and that icing is like slide around the edges? I said, well, I'm just going to um, pinch off some of this icing. And y'all, I got the painting, <laughs> and I couldn't stop. <laughs> and when I did stop, I had pinched off the whole top of the cake you needed. Or not, maybe not the whole cake, but I had tore up the whole top. <laughs> so then, I, I knew I had to do something, because when she come in and found out I had done it, you know, she was going to get me. So I went around there in the bedroom. And my oldest sister, Glenda, was laying across the bed. I don't know if y'all know what true stories is, but back then they called them true stories on. It was like a magazine, but there'd be little short love stories in it. <laughs> and she was laying across the bed reading one of them. And I went in there and got crawled right up there in the bed full of chocolate icing and went to sleep. Or, no, I didn't go to sleep. I pretended to be asleep. <laughs> and y'all, the next thing I know, Mama come in that house and honey, <laughs> I guess as soon as she seen it, she knew who had done it because weren't nobody in the house but me and my older sister. She knew she had better sense in them. <laughs> Boy, she come in there and tore my rump up. Y'all, I never done nothing like that again. But I was just, <laughs> I was a mess when I was little. But I still remember that to the day. And she broke me from pinching on cake. I told my oldest son the other day on it. I was going to make us a, um, a 16 layer chocolate cake for Thanksgiving. He said, oh, mama, your days is past on being able to do that. <laughs> he thinks he's asleep. He thinks he's, if he tells me that, I'll take it as like a challenge, and I'll definitely make one. But I'm still going to make it. Um, <laughs> but he does think he's asleep. But y'all, that's a job. Making them seats thin, thin little layers. But it's so good. But he's right. I'm not cooking one of them in years. It's just time consuming. Probably take you about three hours, especially if you were like me and um, on. 
when I left my own husband in January, since I was not getting around good on my sons is the one who came that evening and on packed up my stuff. <laughs> so a lot of stuff got left behind. So I don't have cake pans and on. Y'all, I'm so bad for biting my tongue. I've eaten so hard. But if I had to make a 16 layer chocolate cake in, in that cast iron skillet, instead of taking two or three hours, it'd probably take four or five. So I think I'm going to hit on um, get me some cake pans before then, because then I'll be able to. I'm going to get me at least three, maybe four, because that's what I had was four. Because then I can um, I can roll it out if I got four, because um, if you got four, you can put them all in there at the same time, and I can get it done quicker that way. So, yo, hey, I was about to study. I believe I'm done all this talking and this thing ain't on. <laughs> I know y'all say that's a silly woman. <laughs> and I am. <laughs> I couldn't see them little minutes at the bottom. I was trying to look at that because I don't want the phone to cut out in the middle of what I'm seeing. Oh. It's just 26 minutes. Because I've noticed, seems like after I talk 32 or 33 minutes, it'll cut out and start, you know, recording over again. And y'all know, Lil's on old school cell. Don't know how to edit. So all I know how to do is just record these videos and, and put them on YouTube. So... I got to make sure I don't talk past 30, 32 minutes. Mm. No one thing I'm getting for. There's still quite a bit on this plate. Not too much though. I'm about to. I'm gonna eat all of this. I'm not on. I'm not gonna waste it. It looked like a lot. Well, it wasn't a lot, but um, it was mostly vegetables because um, them little steaks. I I think it said they're four ounces. And um, what's well, someone's calling again? Lord, have mercy. I'm sorry, y'all. Maybe they'll hang up in a minute on. Um, I hope nothing ain't wrong. Um, I got to hurry up and get off of here and call her back. But I don't think nothing's wrong. I think she's calling me because I called her earlier. But I got to hurry up and call her back on. She'll be got up and come over here. She'll think something's wrong. Here y'all, I've got just about all of my Christmas on decorations about. Been having my Christmas tree on. I ordered it in May. What I've got to get started doing is buying my presents. I'm bought a couple, but I got to get on the ball because um, I like to have it all bought by Thanksgiving. Cause I don't like to be in the store hunting old Christmas presents on in, in December. Mm -mm.
Now I know I'm starting worrying about my son now. But I know she's she's just returning my call. Ain't nothing wrong. But I got to hurry up and get off of here because I got to make sure ain't nothing wrong. Which I'm 99.9% .9 sure there ain't. She's just returning my call. And probably the reason she keeps calling because she thinks something's wrong. Mm. I'm telling y'all, this is feeling. I think the next time instead of doing a cup of corn, I'm gonna do a half a cup of corn. And instead of doing a cup of beans, I'm gonna do a half a cup. But stick with the same amount of vegetables. Mmm, about to pop, y'all. Mmm. Mm. And the reason I didn't do the Sunday dinner mukbang Y'all my humans cooked for me all weekend. I ain't had to cook nothing this past weekend. It was nice not having to wash no dishes. <laughs> 